Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are covering Deadlock Stacking Belt Boxes. And uh, this is a very cool new mod that's come out only a few days ago that kind of tries to implement what uh, one of the dev suggestions in a previous Friday Facts for how to buff belts. And this is creating stacked items. So this mod adds these little, uh, these little belt box guys here that will stack items in sets of five and then be able to send them down to belt. However, uh, you probably do want to use loaders. I am using the loaders redux mod. I would recommend using this and I will put a link in the description to it as well. Um, you can do it with inserters as we see down here, but with faster belt it really won't work too well because the inserters can't keep up. So the loaders are probably going to be best with this if you decide to go this route. But if you don't want to, you can use inserters. So you feed the belt in, um, a full belt, and you have a loader or an inserter going into this guy. And there's nice thing is there's no like settings you have to do, you can open it. So if something gets stuck, like if a piece of copper or something gets in here, you can pull it out. But you don't have to do any fancy setups, it just does its thing and then you output. Uh, this will not output on the belt itself, so you need an inserter or loader. And you can see here, these, I really like these graphics, these stacked items. Um, it only works on some items though. So if we go into, um, we actually need to place one. So let's go ahead and place one of these. Um, if we go into actually one of these, if we go into here, uh, we can see these are the only things that'll work on. Um, pretty much circuits, uh, you know, raw ore, plate, uh, coal, uh, wood, fuels, and gears. Essentially, these these items right here are the only ones that can be stacked, uh, which does kind of make sense. You know, they're more of the basic type of stuff, so I think it makes sense, you know, that you can't be stacking up science packs or something like that. Um, but they come out, and then they are stacked on this belt, and it's, you know, five per, so we can kind of see this guy... Um, he'll take in five and then put out a stack, so it's essentially five times the density. Now, it's only on one side of the belt uh, because, you know, it, it's it's like putting it in a fifth and then outputting it. Uh, and then if you want to uncompress it, you do have to do this again, which does make it a little bit awkward, but it would make for some interesting setups. You cannot grab from this into an assembler. You can put it in a box, which I've done here just to demonstrate that um, it doesn't increase the storage size at all because they only stack in 40s, um, for the circuits at least, and you know there's five in a stack, which is a 200, so a 200 still occupies a slot just as it would in vanilla when they're not stacked, and this applies to everything. Um, so to unstack it, you just do the same setup, and if you have stacked items going in, then it will output unstacked items. And I'm just showing you here for all the belts, uh, the copper cable, I really like how that looks. Uh, and then yellow belt and uh, red belt and blue belt, there's one for each. And then down here, we have inserters going. The power pole's kind of in the way. Let's move this. And you can see this kind of works. Like, the problem is even on yellow belt, fast inserters aren't quick enough because you can't actually input five fast enough to keep this continuously going. Now, if you did stack inserters on this yellow belt, it would probably work. Um, actually not, even though we do have all, uh, all stack size bonuses. So this is why inserters aren't really recommended. It kind of works, but not like a ton. Um, so using the Redux, the Lotus Redux mod will be much better for this. But there you go. If you want to stack belts, you know, after reading that Friday Facts or whatever, um, this is the only mod I've seen that does it, you know, without doing crates or something like that. It actually stacks the items, which I think is really cool. So link in the description to this mod as well as the Lotus Redux mod. If you're interested, definitely recommend it if you are looking for some way to kind of get more throughput out of your belts without just doing faster belts. But uh, any thoughts or questions you have, leave down in the comments, or if I forgot anything, hopefully I didn't. Uh, but until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.